So in this video, let's turn our attention to the boardroom in a little bit more detail. We're now, of course, adding the boardroom to the mix for this more advanced strategy. We've already looked at the farm, of course, in detail. Uh, there are a few kind of highlights, if you like, headlines that I need you to know about the boardroom. So let's jump through those and cover what they are in this video. Then we'll take a look at the boardroom, uh, which I know we did a little bit in week two, but we're going to dig down deeper uh, as we continue. So first thing I need you to know, and I've already mentioned this a few times, but again, I want this to really stick in your mind, is that the boardroom has a higher APR than the farm. So anything we stake in the boardroom will earn more from a percentage rate than it will in the farm. However, I know you might be thinking, although I know you know the answer to this, well, why don't we use the boardroom all the time then if it pays more? Well, the answer to that is the boardroom does not necessarily pay out every day. It only pays if what's known as the peg is over one. And we'll take a look at exactly what that means in a second. And in the boardroom, we stake e-share. In the farm, of course, we staked liquidity tokens, didn't we? We don't do that in the boardroom. In the boardroom, we stake e-share. And you might remember that in the farm, we earn e-share. And now in the boardroom, we can stake that e-share and we get paid in EMP. Again, the first time, first few times we do this, it takes a little bit of thinking about, doesn't it? But uh, the more we do it, the more this will become second nature. So they're kind of, if you like, the, the headlines with the boardroom. Let's go and take a look at the boardroom right now. I really want to just uh, to show you a few things about it. So let's jump back to emp.money. OK, so here we are. So what have we got here? Well, firstly, it looks very similar to the farm. Uh, on the right hand side, again, we've got the area where we stake. And in this case, as as you now know, or hopefully are beginning to, to know that in the boardroom, we stake e-share, don't we? So look, it says here e-share staked and I've got 32 e-share staked or 32.2. And the dollar value at the time of making this video of those 32 e-share is twenty six thousand five hundred and nineteen dollars. OK, so that's that area here. Now, I want to draw your attention to the APR. I did say the APR is a lot, lot higher. Now, look, look at this, 533%. Before you freak out, that's not daily. <laughs> Can you imagine if it was? Nothing pays that daily, obviously. This is yearly. Uh, APR does stand for annual percentage rate. I know in the farm it quotes it at daily. I get that. But it is annual. So annually, and this changes every day as well, the boardroom is paying at 533.90%. So what is that daily? Well, just need to do some simple maths, don't we? We just need to divide that by 365. In fact, let's do that. Uh, so this is good for you to know. This is good kind of, you know, basic math, but it's important that we understand it. Again, it makes it so much more enjoyable. So let's work out, this is what we're about to do. Let's work out what we stake, how much we will get paid uh, daily. Uh, at least at today. And again, this changes, this fluctuates. I've seen this as high as over 2,000. And, uh, you know, it really it really depends on market conditions, what's going on in the world, all that sort of good stuff. Uh, so 534, 534, let's do it exactly, 0 0.06, divided by 365 to give us the daily uh, APR is 1.4, 1.46. Now, what was the farm? It was about, when we looked at it, um, it was about 0.27. So, you know, just a bit of mental math here. I can work out that this is probably at least seven times as much. So you're beginning to see why, you know, the boardroom is very, very, very powerful. But we're going to come on to something more about that in a second. What I want to draw your attention to, though, right now, let's just zero this, is as follows. So if the if the daily interest rate, let's stay focused here, the daily interest rates we just worked out was 1.46%, right? So therefore, anything we have state will be earning us daily, daily 1.46%. And again, this changes every day. So let's do again some more math here. So I've got 20. Now, I know you might be thinking, oh, Chris, it's all right for you. You've got $26,000. And I do get that. But again, I just want you to understand the process. By the way, I didn't even deposit this originally. I started with 10,000 and it's, it's gone up over time. Um, but let's work on what we've got here right now. So this is what I'm earning every day in the boardroom. Well, today, again, as I keep saying, this will change every day uh, due to the APR. But 26,460. OK, times, what was the percentage rate? 1.46, wasn't it? 1.46. If I click percentage, this is how much I'm earning a day in the boardroom. So $386. Not bad at all. And that goes over here, just like in the farm. 
and this will accumulate over time and we can claim it at any time when we claim it it goes into our metamask wallet so very very similar to how the farm works in that context now a very important thing that I need you to understand that I've already mentioned is the boardroom does not pay every day. In my experience of being involved in EMP, it's paid maybe 70% of the time, 75% of the time, maybe even a bit higher, but there are certainly days that it does not pay. And it only pays if this figure here, which is known as the PEG, uh, it's also sometimes called the TWOP, you can see in brackets here. We're not going to worry about what exactly this is. It's actually quite a complex algorithmic mathematical thing that takes into account the price of Ethereum versus the price of EMP. There's a few other things as well. We don't really need to understand it, truth be told, but what we do need to know is that for the boardroom to pay, this has got to be over one. So it's very close to one at the time of making you this video. So basically today, at the time of making you this video, this would not pay. What does that mean? Well, all it means is my my uh, e-share is totally safe I'm just not earning any interest today so uh, this is what I've had here for the last I think couple of days and last couple of days it has not been over peg so it's just remained at 29,000 uh, 29,000 2,900 that I've made in profit and this is over the last from memory it's it, four or five days actually maybe 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 six days or so but not that long so I'm sure you're beginning to see you know how powerful this can be and again the APR does change every day it can be a lot higher so if it's a lot higher obviously you're going to earn more so that's the kind of the the if you like the the headlines as I keep saying that I want you to understand regarding the boardroom so let's summarize and again what do we accomplish in this video well we started to get familiar with the boardroom didn't we we understand that the boardroom only pays if the peg is over one um, so what do I want you to do now? Do you know what? I was thinking, just for giggles, I'm going to ask you a random question. Nothing to do with anything that we're learning here at all. I want to know a bit more about you and be interesting to find out. So uh, there is nothing for you to do, but tell me your favourite film. I know that's a bit of a left-field question, but why not? I'm just interested to know. It'd be nice to get a list below <laughs> when we're learning about earning passive income totally left field question what's your favorite film of all time i was thinking about this and you can see here on the screen mine is shadowlands with anthony hopkins have you seen that truly brilliant or the elephant man which i ironically anthony hopkins is in in that as well but shadowlands great story about uh c.s lewis brilliant movie if you haven't seen it a real tearjerker oh my goodness beautiful film so shadowlands is my favorite movie what's yours i'd really love to know i'm looking forward to reading these uh so post your favorite movie below in the comments below this video and uh, then let's carry on. See you in the next video.